Alrighty, NT8 on the porch. Got a Fitzgerald update today. The USS Fitzgerald. The yard has been chosen, which is the Huntington Ingalls shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Which is where Vicksburg was built, which I'm a plank owner of. So, they're going to bring it back by heavy lift. This is all according to the U.S. Naval Institute. I'll put the link in the description. You can read it. But so far, no heavy lift ship has signed up to bring her back. So then we'll see what route they take, whether they go through the Suez Canal or through the Panama Canal. They'll just have to find a heavy lift ship if they want to go through the Panama Canal that's narrow enough to uh, take it through. Also along these notes, you've got the USS John S. McCain. Both of these ships are 7th Fleet. The commander of 7th Fleet has been fired. I'm not even going to try and get into the guy's name. Akion or something like that. He's been fired. But what uh, Bill and I are kind of wondering, why did they go to the head of the 7th Fleet and they never fired uh, the commander of Desron 15? which both of those ships are in that squadron. I think there's going to be more heads to roll, and I think the CNO is eventually, his head's going to roll. But that's speculation on my part. So, Fitzgerald to Pascagoula. McCain to... Who knows what? Maybe they're going to have to underwater weld it so it can get back to Yokosuka. But it's going to end up having to be heavy lift back because they don't want to tie up the dry dock space. So now you have to come up with two destroyers to send over to replace them. Meanwhile, doing this North Korea bullshit. So we'll see how this turns out. Just a quick update. Today is the 23rd of August of 2017. And uh, subscribe. I'll keep you informed as to what I find out. We'll talk to you later.